What is up guys, Raymond here, also known as Rayvision, and check it out, today, well, we are going to be doing a Forza 5 lap time on the Nürburgring, and as per requested in the comments, we are going to be doing an X5M, well, uh, more precisely, the BMW X5M. Um, now, the, um, guys, I'm not blind, there are a lot of requests for different cars, um, there was a, uh, there were two Lambo requests, uh, and the Ravantan and the Veneno, and the problem with both of those cars is they are both DLC cars, and I don't have all the DLC, I actually think I only have two DLC packs, the so one that comes to Bugatti Veyron and the one that comes to the C7. Um, so that's basically that, oh my god, where's the Nürburgring? Nürburgring, did I just, yeah, there you go. So, um... With regards to those cars, and there's also a request for the LaFerrari, guys. Um, I'm happy to race any car I have, but Forza Horizon 2 is coming out in like three weeks, so I'm not going to buy the DLC. If this would have been like a long, long time ago, and I probably should have bought the Season Pass when the game came out, but I didn't. And so, yeah, whenever uh, Forza Horizon 2 comes out, I'm probably going to get the Season Pass for that. So, um... Don't worry, guys, I see all of your requests, but some of them are DLCs that I do not have access to, so uh, sorry about that. And so we take our little friend, the BMW X5M. Now, this BMW, I, I'm going to give you guys my little opinion on this one. Um, because Montreal is a place where there's winter and stuff, you see this car a bit more than you would see an M5, probably. Because, okay, that's going to be annoying real fast. Sorry about that. Oh, look at that. We're actually racing someone. Um, this is, No, I don't want to drive. Okay, here we go. Thank you. And uh, so, I, I don't see... I see this car pretty often. And my opinion on it is... If I'm going to get a BMW, I'm not going to get an SUV. It's like, if I get an SUV, I'm going to make it an SUV. Because, like, a really, really SUV-like car. That I'm not going to be afraid to, like, scrap up or anything like that. A BMW X5M is a car that costs quite a bit of money. I don't know what the exact price tag is, but it is definitely not a car that is given to you for free. And uh, if you have a SUV, it probably means you're planning to carry stuff in it, put your skis in it. Yeah, sure, the thing can carry skis and all that, but um, I don't want to ruin the interior with my skis, and I don't want to put my skis on the top because that will ruin my skis because of the salt in the road. Uh... Let's just leave it at that. So this car in real life, nah, I, f I would get another BMW and then have another uh, shitty car. I don't know, like, I don't know. Just like some really cheap SUV to carry my stuff in winter and as four-wheel drive. And the reason for that is I don't need that luxury suite when I'm in an SUV. I just need that practicality. When I'm driving a luxury car, I want a full-out luxury car. I don't want the mix because if I have the mix, I won't be using it as a practical car. Be luxury. Man, this thing does not tie on. So couple things we have figured out after a couple turns on the Nürburgring with this car. It is very heavy. Um, every time I usually I can take some of these corners like with the white line or sometimes even the red line. This car carries its weight through corners a little bit too much. Oh, that's our second wall. Oh my god. So this is like if you want performance, that's what I'm saying. It's like might as well get two separate cars because getting this one will definitely not give you both because look at it I'm just going all over the place and the steering is really slow like I turn my wheel and then the car goes and it doesn't even really want to go side there you go it's like oh no and it wasn't even a braking line there and it just went straight into the barricade it was like forget that so it's 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 I've driven better cars around the Nürburgring we'll say that um but also it is probably I think it is the lowest car class that we have ever driven around the Nürburgring so on the same time, maybe I'm being a little bit harsh because there might be other C-classes that would definitely not do as well. This is the first ever C-class we take around the Nürburgring, if I'm correct. So, uh, yeah, you know. Um, be sure to leave uh, your requests in the comments below. If you guys have any cars that you would like to see be driven around the Nürburgring, be sure to leave those below. I uh, will be happy to oblige if I can. Um, just be aware of DLC cars. Um, LaFerrari's a DLC. I don't... Okay. I'm sorry, turn 10. Um, they do, they've done a lot of things to piss me off, these guys. Every single good, like, one-of-a-kind car that are the cars that you really want, I think, I'm pretty sure they did on purpose to put them in DLC packs, because you would just buy that DLC pack 
for that one car. Oh, we're getting so much understeer here. Oh my god. Um, an example, Bugatti Veyron. Another example, LaFerrari. Another example, Lamborghini Anton. <laughs> Another example, Lamborghini Oh, So basically, like, all the cars that you would really want to drive, you're like, oh, I'm getting this game to drive this car. They're making you pay more for all of those cars, and it's kind of like, I understand some marketing strategy. It's like, well, we have to put at least one car per pack where that one car is going to make him buy the pack. You know what I mean? And usually the good cars, they're the ones that make him exclusive to the packs, not the ones that you can buy, like, standalone. And so, as a marketing strategy, yes, that works, but considering Forza 5 had a serious lack in cars, how they come out uh, when it came out, I don't understand why they charge so much, first of all, for the extra cars, for, like, the amount you get, it's so much, and it's, it's frustrating. Uh, hopefully, Horizon 2 is not as bad. I know, well, the only thing they can be adding in Horizon 2 is going to be cars, because it is an open-world game, so they're not going to be adding any new maps. Unless they do like a thing where you can drive cars around the Nurburgring and Horizon, which doesn't make sense because you could just do Forza 5. But, um, hopefully, uh, hopefully, I'm, I'm being very hopeful. The car that I really want to see, um, in Horizon 2, which we've been at, this car I've been asking for for like forever to happen in Forza 5, is the Jaguar F Type. And hopefully, oh, oh, okay, wait, alright, I'm good. Hopefully, they have an F-Type. If they have an F-Type, I will be happy. I mean, they're probably going to put the V8, obviously, the most powerful one. They're definitely not going to shy on the power. But, um, I would love to have an F-Type because those things, that's one of my, that is one of my dream cars at the moment. Like, if I could, if, if someone offered me an F-Type, I don't know, like, I, I don't know what I would do to have an F-Type. I would just be going crazy. I'd be like, oh my gosh, an F-Type, ah. Every time I see an F-Type, I'm just like, it's so pretty. And people don't understand, like, I move my friends, they're like, what are you... So, uh, yeah, F-Type would definitely be a nice car to have. Oh, oh, oh! Keep it, keep it, uh, 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 no. You see, this is definitely not the car for this track. <laughs> this car is going all over the place. The reason why I chose this car, it has been requested many, many times, so I, uh, must oblige. And uh, for you, those of you who are requesting DLC cars, well, I am sorry about that. Ooh, speed! Damn it, speed. Speed, I said speed! Mm. You see, I don't think yelling at the car helps, but I'm hoping that yelling at a car like this that's going really slowly around the track will help it go faster. And now, since we've taken one C-Class around the track, Guys, um, at the beginning when we started the Nurburgring lap times, I liked to limit it to A-Class cars, but... I decided that, you know, we're not really caring about the car. We're trying to see what you get for your bang per buck on these corners, on the Nurburgring and all that. So feel free to ask any car. I'll even do a D-Class. Even if it takes me 10 minutes to go around the track, I will bring it to you guys. And no, I will not do a Formula 1 car because that is stupid and I suck at driving Formula 1 cars in this game. Oh, break it, break it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Just beautiful. So yeah, that is what's happening. Um, now to talk about Ruby, because I love that show so much, and I always have to talk about it every once in a while. Uh, I'm so sad because this week is uh, not a Ruby episode, it's going to be a History of World of Remnant. Although those are really good and really interesting, the last episode kind of let us off on a cliffhanger, spoiler alert. And uh, we saw Ruby, yada yada, everyone that's seen the episode knows what I'm talking about. And so I cannot wait for in two weeks from now because, well, hopefully the history lesson is going to be interesting because the one on Dust actually helped a lot because now there's a lot more intriguing facts. Like when you see stuff happen with certain characters, when you see their outfits for the first time, you're like, does this have anything to do with Dust and other things? So yeah, that is something. If you do not know what Ruby is, go and check it out. If you guys are on episode 6 and haven't seen episode 7, that is because you're watching the episode on YouTube. Shame on you. Um, the episodes for Ruby release one week in advance on the Rooster Teeth Red site, so if you're interested in that, be sure to check that out. Or else- Oh! I see the- my god, we actually kept up. I'm wondering if that guy is driving a tune car and is a really horrible driver, or he's just driving a shit car like this one. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have him on the straight, like, it's a BMW and I don't know what he's driving. Let's see, let's see. Can we catch him up? Foot on the floor! 120 miles an hour. Climbing, and it hasn't stopped climbing. It's climbing at a very good rate, this car. I like it. Alright, shift. 
There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. And uh, one lap around the Nurburgring. Let's just look at fuel efficiency. I'm looking at that fuel efficiency now, and that's definitely not a car I want to be driving every day. Too many gas station stops. Look at that. We've taken like one tenth of the tank. Well, probably more like one twentieth. Whatever. Not my point. It's taken a lot of gas just for one lap. Probably would happen in real life too, though. So I don't really blame it. Apparently, that other car is a lot faster on the straight. And I'm going to take the braking light to heart. Sometimes I uh, don't brake there. But uh, with this car and how's it been driving around the track, I'm going to take this uh, line a little bit more seriously. And so we are coming around the corner. And our final lap time for the BMW X5M is going to be... Oh, I think that was a Supra. Um, it is an 8.43. Nice. No, that's target time. Our last lap was 8.49. All right. Yeah, it is a Supra 98. All right. So as usual, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Leave your comments below. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, leave your car suggestions below. Seriously, uh, I'll be happy to do anything you guys ask, and I will see you all next time.